Can you believe it? We've actually had the Meteor 350 for a solid year. And that means we're going to do a full year review. You know, what we've done to the bike, you know, like some of the modifications, but more important than that, what the bike has meant to me over the last 12 months. This is going to be an exciting video, guys. Stay tuned. Well, we're going to be dodging raindrops today, the way it looks. <laughs> What's up, riders? Old Man Ronan here, and uh, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, like I said in the intro, one year since I've had the uh, Royal Enfield Meteor 350, and I'll tell you what, it's been a remarkable year full of discovery, full of exciting adventures. Uh, you know, when Bree Poland brought me the bike, a year ago on Labor Day, it was just, I mean, I was overwhelmed that the fact not only that uh, she actually brought it uh, herself, but the fact that uh, they uh, they thought enough of me to let me try this bike and make some videos out of it. And lo and behold, we end up uh, becoming an owner of the motorcycle down the road. I'll tell you what, guys, this is just a just been an adventure beyond adventures and uh, we got a little bit of mist happening right now so <laughs> it's going to be an adventure today as well too but uh, let me uh, let me tell you uh, basically what we started doing with the bike right away and uh, we're going to put some footage in here as we uh, as we go on because I've taken this bike some really unique places uh, like you're seeing right now we actually took it uh, to show that the bike is capable of doing moto camping in in you know restricted areas obviously it's not going to be a place like the Himalayan can go but it can do that kind of stuff back on some of the uh, the more uh, I don't want to say dirt trails or deer trails but the dirt track and and grassy fields and things like that you know places that campgrounds are like and some uh, you know places that the a uh, lot of dry camping take place that's where this thing can go without any question whatsoever and uh, I'll tell you what guys I was completely surprised on how well it rode in that kind of situation but even more so when we went here yeah, I'm telling you, the bike does phenomenal in the gravel, which probably was the biggest eye-opening experience for me, was the fact how well it handled the gravel. Uh, I mean, I, uh, I, was, I was testing out the Kalimoto map, and I made an error, and I moved the, one, of my, uh, one of my roads to a, uh, to a gravel road, which it normally doesn't do that, and uh, wow, I was just tickled pink. Normally, the, uh, the uh, gravel roads I pick on my own, and I, I didn't even know that one existed, so... That was kind of cool, but the bike handled it spectacularly. But uh, that's kind of the first things that really, uh, really excited me about the motorcycle was its capabilities to do things that non-traditional cruiser style bikes can do. Now, you can ride a motorcycle anywhere, I know that. Uh, but, you know, when you got a motorcycle that was designed in India, and if you guys don't know, I'm going to tell you this. No matter what people say, if a bike is made for the Indian roads, I don't care who you are or what you say this bike these bikes can ride anywhere period end of story because the roads over there aren't necessarily the best and uh, well they're not the best and these bikes were built specifically designed for those areas so you got a cruiser bike that can do pretty much anything you want it to do Ta -da! <laughs> you know what i mean and i think that's kind of the uh, the one of the main attractions of the royal enfield line is the fact that they are designed for not road as well as road. You know, the Himalayan, uh, and I'm going to be doing a video on that coming up on, you know, all roads, no roads. I'm going to use that hashtag as the main title. But, you know, the Himalayan is a phenomenal motorcycle. Uh, and it's, I call it my, it's a heavy duty uh, adventure bike. But we're going to do that later. That's right, guys. It's time for another Max Eyewear motorcycle specific sunglass giveaway from old man Ronan all you have to do is be a subscriber make a comment below on this video of what time you saw little Ronan roll by and send me an email to oldmanronan at gmail.com and you're entered for this month's giveaway the way that this thing rides the comfortability of the stance the uh, the full mid forward controls now uh, I, I, in, in all reality I would like a little bit more forward however uh, I know this is built for all size of people and again I'm over six foot tall uh, just under six two just over six two depends on the day <laughs> I know right back in the old days I was closer to six three but not anymore you know that's what happens with age uh, that you know things do change but uh, this is very comfortable ride and it's proven it on several of the long rides that I've actually taken 
And again, like I said, we're going to get some mist. Hopefully it doesn't mess up the cameras because you know GoPro. But in reality, this bike here will do pretty much anything you ask it to do in all weather situations. And it, the main factor I like about it, the main thing I like about it is its simplicity. And I think that's probably the biggest factor of all. The fact that you can easily change the oil, easily work on the engine, easily do all this, that, and the other thing. Not, not, not an overabundance of extra technology that you don't need. You know, you guys that have been frequent watchers of the channel know that I'm, I'm not a big fan of the high-tech stuff. Now, do I like high technology in certain things? Yeah, I do. But you know what I don't like? I don't like high technology when I got to pay for stuff that burns out. Like, uh, you ever have a car that had the computer go out in it? I mean, uh, uh, hello you're talking thousands upon thousands of dollars to replace that uh, and some of these modern motorcycles are the same way when you've got so much technology guys in reality it's going to cost you more to fix the motorcycle than it's probably worth yeah oh, man we're running into some pretty good rain here let me wipe my lens off a little bit how you doing there gopro but I don't know how the 360s work. We got the 360 hanging out there. Hopefully, we don't hit anything. <laughs> I, uh, I'm trying a new thing with a bungee to keep it from uh, keep it from flopping down. So we'll have to see exactly how that's going to work. Uh, but uh, we will we will let you know. But in reality, the uh, Meteor 350 will do pretty much anything you ask it to do. Uh, it's a super easy motorcycle to work on. It's super easy to ride. Uh, you know, we uh, we went on a couple long distance rides with not only going down to Virginia, but also uh, wipe my mask off there. Not only going down to Virginia, but also to uh, uh, our Ronan ride where we went down to Augusta, Kentucky. And uh, of course, Iron Lady and I have rode double or two up on a lot of local rides around here that we uh, we were able to go uh, four or five hundred miles in a day and absolutely two up no issue whatsoever maintaining 60 65 miles an hour and this bike will do 60 65 miles an hour all day long i mean uh, if you guys uh, have not seen my little uh, uh long distance review i'll put a card up in the corner there that you can see that we actually uh rode this thing on the highway doing 70 72 miles an hour which is right at its limit i'm not going to go i mean it's electronically limited anyways you're not going to go faster than that but in reality the bike handled it magnificently but what's some of the other things that uh, I've learned over this year? On my Ronin ride, I was getting 87 miles a gallon, and that's just phenomenal for me. I, uh, I just, I, I mean, I'm overwhelmed at 87 miles a gallon because in the price of fuel today, oops, forgot to turn my turn signal off. No! <laughs> oh, Jesus! Uh, in the price of fuel economy today. Uh, 87 miles a gallon is phenomenal. Now, when I really push it, it'll drop down below uh, 80 miles a gallon sometimes. Not very often, but uh, when I really push it, uh, like uh, on my trip back from uh, Virginia, I was running into some pretty heavy rain. And so, uh, of course, uh, you guys know that if you've been watching the channel, you know that I lost all my footage because of the rain. And I'm hoping I don't lose this today because, you know, it is kind of sprinkling a little bit. But in reality, uh, I was getting about 77, 78 miles a gallon, but I mean, I was pushing it. I was running her hard, which is another point that makes it uh, makes it uh, a, a fantastic motorcycle. Is you can run these things. I mean, you can run this J Series engine. This bike was built to be run through its rev range, and I think that's the reason why they electronically limit it. But uh, you know, we're on a back road right now. It's really rough. And the suspension, the way I've got it set up for me and for uh, Iron Lady, I do change it. People say all the time, do you change the suspension? Yes, depending on my load. And it's really easy using the C-wrench that comes with the bike. Now, guys asked me before, what size is it? I have no freaking idea, guys. It's the one that comes with the bike. The little tool kit that comes with these motorcycles, whether it's the Himalayan or this particular bike, you can pretty much do, except for a valve adjustment, anything you need to do on the bike. And I think that's a big plus as well too. The fact that they give you the equipment and the and if you're if you're smart enough to buy or download or however you get it, a service manual, you can do a lot of the work yourself because it is such a bike of simplicity. And that's our next point. Man, this bike is so easy to work on. And the simplicity of the design, the simplicity of the engine, the simplicity of maintenance is well, hard to beat, particularly in the day of uh, the high technology stuff that we talked about a little bit earlier. Again, I'm not a big fan of high technology. I, uh, I, you know, I like it for my TV, 
I like it for my cell phone. I do not like it for motorcycles because, you know, you, I don't know if you guys, particularly in foreign countries, ever heard this. It's called Murphy's Law. Anything that can possibly go wrong will. And Murphy's Law is huge, particularly if you're running motorcycles. It happens all the time. But with this brand of motorcycle, in particular the model, the, uh, the Meteor 350, I've had zero issues. I mean, I've had zero issues with this bike. Uh, we actually have a, uh, a couple maintenance videos coming up here in the very near future. We're going to be doing an oil change and we're going to be doing a chain maintenance on the bike. And I want you guys to see those videos. It's already been filmed, but I want you to, uh, guys to realize that that's coming up down the road. It is a separate oil change and a separate uh, uh, chain maintenance video. Whoa, 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 dear, 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 dear. She wanted to come out. She really did. Yeah, a little bit of rain on the on the windscreen today. Not too much, but you know it is what it is. But uh, as far as a uh, a long distance bike, this thing is perfect. As far as a back road bike, this thing is perfect. As far as a highway bike, man, nah, there's better ones out there. I have to admit, but it can do it. So if you're in the mood for a motorcycle that is, uh, I'm gonna watch, man. <laughs> Keep forgetting that thing's extended out there pretty far. Hopefully you guys are seeing some of that footage now, but. Uh, as far as this motorcycle being a, a perfect all-around bike, yeah, it is a 350 or 349 cc, so it does have limitations, and the limitations are the top end, that's without a doubt. Well, let's talk about some of the additions I've made to it. Yeah, the first thing you're going to notice is the long ride uh, uh, saddlebags and, uh, and of course, the, uh, the duffels that I put on. And I'll put some footage in here of the, uh, that complete setup. And I'll tell you what, guys, it's probably the best thing I've ever done to this motorcycle. It's given me the ability to, to go long distance. And I've got some really long distance adventures planned for the future here, guys. And you're going to be, uh, particularly in the next several months, that you're going to be really tickled with. I mean, right now... Uh, again, we just came off of Labor Day. This is actually the day after Labor Day, and uh, and I'm doing this filming. And like I said, we had a complete. I mean, it's been a washout for the weekend. It rained every day, and so we weren't even. It's one of those type of things that you know. It's time to do stuff around the house in days like that, and that's what we did. But as far as me getting out and riding this motorcycle uh, uh, on a day like today, I wanted to make sure this video is coming out because it is on the anniversary of having this for a full year. This has put the fun of motorcycling back into my rides. Uh, and again, I giggle and have miles of smiles every time I throw my leg over one of these bikes, and in particular the Meteor 350, because I tell you what, I probably ride this more than any of the other motorcycles right now, because I really love it. Again, I, I have had, I've had all kinds of different style of motorcycles over my life, but the Cruiser's one I always go back to because it's comfortable to ride. And this one here, whether it's long distance or a trip to the market, is fantastic. And the addition of the long ride, the addition of my uh, uh, fly screen up front here has, I mean, I did the fly screen for two reasons. Number one, it kind of shoots the wind and the rain away from my phone and away from, it doesn't really touch the camera, but this one here that you're seeing right there that I'm pointing at, uh, that one there is, is waterproof because I don't have any cords plugged into it. But uh, the, the phone is not. I do have a poncho for it, but I didn't think I was going to need it. Uh, looks like I'm going to. <laughs> Man, this thing just handles so nice in the corners. And I think that's another factor. The fact that it handles so nice going around corners and on twisty roads uh, makes it a, I mean, it is so light and nimble. You know, ease of maintenance, the, the miles of smiles, the comfortability of the rider's stance, the fact that I just get a kick out of riding this, and she handles so well. The fact that I can just do whatever I want to do with this bike makes it, again, I've had the best year on motorcycles in my entire life this last year, and I owe it to Royal Enfield, the Media 350 in particular, and of course the Himalayan as well too. I, I love that motorcycle, but I'll tell you what, this one here, I, like I said, I ride it more than any of the others now, uh, simply because it is so much fun. And you know, living my best life, which is kind of like the catchphrase of a lot of folks right now. And I guess that's basically what the title of this video is going to be. One year review of the Meteor 350. Living my best life, baby. Because that's really what this has meant to me. Iron Lady and I have ride this a lot too up. We ride, I ride this a lot single. I, I love the addition of the, 
the fly screen to help protect the gauges and the phone and also the long ride uh, saddlebags and of course the duffels man really 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 emphasis on really make a huge difference in what I feel about this motorcycle and what it's meant to me this motorcycle what it means to me is pure enjoyment again miles of smiles easy peasy riding I mean I don't know what else to say other than the fact that guys if you're not riding one of these you're missing out well guys I really hope you enjoyed this video today me talking about what this year has meant because it's been a tremendous amount of things it's meant a lot of enjoyment and I really like I mentioned before I encourage you to get out there and test ride a Meteor 350 and see if you can enjoy motorcycling the way that I do because I'm having an absolute riot if you did like the video make sure you give us a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe hit that bell notification button share and comment you know I read all the comments and comment on as many as I possibly can until next time guys ride safe and keep her on two wheels, baby.